converting radians to degrees. So now we're gonna multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So we're doing the reciprocal of, of what we were doing previously. So convert each of the following and sketch the angle. So to sketch the angle, Right now, we're not as familiar with radians, so we're converting it to degrees will help us sketch the angle, but then we'll still talk a little bit about strategies with radians here on some of these as well. So I'm gonna multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. Now we can't rely on units canceling. Technically, the radian unit that we don't see would cancel, but the degree unit remains. So if you want the degree unit to remain, it's gonna be in the numerator. The pi symbols cancel, but those are numbers, so that just works out. So 180 divided by four is equal to 45 degrees. Now we had seen that one in our chart, so we kind of knew what to expect there. 45 degrees would be halfway, and again, you wanna start your initial side drawing to the terminal side and draw your directional arrow of 45 degrees. So pi by four, you might wanna get comfortable thinking in radians a little bit. Pi by two would be at the top, so half of 90 would be this way, or pi by four would be one quarter of the way to pi, so you can always remember that as well. Let's look at number B, or letter B rather. We're gonna multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. We can cancel those out and we can go seven times 180 over four. If you don't have a calculator, I would reduce first and go 180 over four was 45 and then go seven times 45. It's still negative, 315. So this is again easier for right now anyways in degrees. So negative means you're gonna go this way all the way to halfway into quadrant one. So negative 315, you know this would be negative 90, negative 180 negative 270, negative 360, so negative 315 is halfway between there and quadrant one. Um, let's look at if we left this in radians. So negative seven pi by four would be, if you went all the way around here, one full revolution would be negative two pi, which with the common denominator is negative eight pi by four, so you're not quite there with negative seven pi by four. Let's look at 5.13, same strategy. This is just as a decimal, the radians. So you're gonna still multiply it by 180 degrees over pi. There's no, nothing to cancel. This is going to be putting everything in your calculator. So you're gonna go 5.13 times 180 divided by pi, and you're gonna get 293.9. degrees and that will definitely help you here so this is if you go around here 270 so it's a little past 270 and again you want your directional arrow in here so this is uh, 5.13 or 293.9 degrees now if you did not have a calc uh, sorry if you did not convert this to degrees you could still remember that this would be where 6.28 is which is two pi, this is 3.14 pi, and 3.4 plus, so half of pi, half of three is 1.5, um, plus 0.14 would be a little bit more, so this is 1.6, and so this would be 3.14 plus 1.6, so approximately 4.7, so you can tell that 5.13 is past 4.7, but not all the way up to 6.28, so that's another way you can strategize. Um, I'm going to just quickly add one more in here. I think it's worthwhile if you have one radian, which remember is like not quite one sixth of the circle um, when we were looking at it, times up by 180 degree over pi. So basically if in your calculator, you just go 180 divided by pi, you're going to get 57.3 when you round off. So one radian is 57.3 degrees. We don't need to draw that one. You can picture it approximately. It was fairly close to um, the, the 60 degree mark.